This is immigration officer Sasaru Roshin. With 30 years of experience under his belt, he knows what's up. Next, please. And what is the purpose for your visit? Boy. <laughs> Man, now that is a sweet rig. Why couldn't I have been born rich? And I could turn my entire place into a movie theater. And I would be so popular. <sighs> That's crazy expensive. Wish I didn't already spend my entire paycheck on food and a gym membership. Oh well. <sighs> Arm wrestling tournament? That's kind of random. to pull up. Squeeze those blades. Mr. Machio. Hey. Question about arm wrestling. Is it the same rules as arm sumo? Are you interested in signing up for the tournament? As for the exact rules, those are defined by the World Arm Wrestling Federation. You can look them up online. They also host the World Championships every year. The biggest difference between the two is the tables they're played on. The rules vary slightly as well. Huh? Even though this tournament is just for Silverman gym members, we will be playing by the official rules used in the worldwide competitions. Does that mean you're gonna be competing? Nah, trainers are much better cheerleaders than players. I can still see you, don't quit yet! You can rest if you need to, but finish it out! Can you please get distracted by the cute young blonde and forget I exist for a minute like a normal guy? <laughs> anyway, why don't you guys enter? Huh? We don't have enough people signed up in the women's division. <sighs> don't you think that sounds fun? I mean, I think prize money sounds fun. That's right. If I win, I could give that home theater set a better life. Um, I don't even know the basic rules, though. What she said. I've watched it before, but that's all. No problem. I've got everything I need to teach you here. I figured you'd be curious, so I already set up a table for us to practice on. How convenient. Did he accidentally already sign us up as well? Match yours, muscle lesson of the day. It's me, Muscle Bro Machio. Today I'm going to show you the correct way to arm wrestle like a professional. First of all, do you know which muscles we use for arm wrestling? Most assume it's just the biceps and triceps, and we do use those, but not exclusively. You also use your forearms, a group of shoulder muscles called the rotator cuff, your back muscles, and even your entire lower body. In other words, arm wrestling is a sport that requires full body strength. Start by gripping the peg with your non-dominant hand. Place your elbow on the pad. Keep your shoulders parallel, making sure your elbow is centered with your body. Press your stomach to the table and lean into the leg that's on the same side as the arm you're competing with. Using proper form allows you to access all your body strength more effectively. It also gives you an immediate advantage over someone who is relying solely on their arm muscles. Even after your body is in position, you don't use your arm strength alone to compete. Use your back and core to support your arm as you win your fight. Also, don't take your eyes off your hand until the ref has declared the match officially over. You could lose your balance and become injured. 
As you can see, the simple sport of arm wrestling is actually very complex. Do you think you're up for the challenge? If you're interested at all, there are several different exercises to train and build up those specific muscles here at the gym. But the best way to improve overall is by practicing. There are some arm wrestlers who don't ever do any strength training. How about it, Miss Sakura <laughs> and Miss Uehara? What? Give it a shot. So yeah, I've never arm sumoed or anything, so go easy. Heaps, come on, you know me better than that. Make sure you get a firm grip on her. Positioning is important. Your thumb's first knuckle should be between their index and middle finger. Looks good. Let's do this. Ready? Go! <laughs> what the what? Did Hibiki just hulk out? What's with the turbo arm? Seriously? This is like some hidden superpower she's got. Now's not the time to discuss. I'll be taking her on next. Ugh. Now, her next opponent will be me. <laughs> I can tell I'm gonna lose, so can we just call it? Sure, when the match is over. What? She's practically a child battling an adult. No matter what she does, she's still smaller and weaker than he is, right? Wrong. She's not like us. Can you blink or something? You're kind of freaking me out. Cool, I'll be your referee, okay? Good luck. You've got this. Player set. Ready? Go! <laughs> what? What's happening? Something's weird. His grip doesn't feel human! Like he's a creature from a different dimension! Oh, he crushed the heck out of her. So, how'd it go? That was completely unfair and impossible! He did something weird with his eyes! Mr. Machio is a winner! Are you okay? <clears throat> there are times when one needs to get serious. This was that time. And you know how this goes. Let's skip right to the tournament, shall we? Here we are! It's the day of the World Arm Wrestling Championship! Strong contenders from every branch of Silverman Gym are gathering at the event site. Correction! Strong, uh, male contenders are gathering. You're bailing? We're supposed to be in this together! Go sign up right now! Hell nah. Why would I wrestle a bunch of meatheads when I can't even beat you? <sighs> Sorry, I'm too busy being old. You guys are traitors! And what's Akimi's problem? She picked the worst possible time to get sick. <coughs> this sucks, I'd rather be wrestling. We might have a tiny problem. Huh? There aren't as many people signed up for the women's division as I'd expected. We're supposed to sort you all by rank, but there's probably only one per group at the most. Are there really that few of us here? Including you? We have exactly two females signed up. So the first round will be the final? I originally planned for a three-person round robin, but then Akami got sick, so the whole thing kind of fell apart. You only have three people sign up? You should fire your entire marketing team. Are you seriously complaining about this? Don't freak out just yet. Your goal is to win this thing, right? So if there's only one person to defeat, you're almost there. Oh yeah, that's true. And I'm that much closer to building a home <laughs> of dreams. They'd pretty much have to be a mutant to beat you anyway, so it doesn't matter who shows up. Good luck, Hibiki. This is gonna be good. Let me at him. Okay, we're sorry for the delay. Make some noise if you're ready for the women's division match. They're really hardcore about this. Yeah, crazy. Got murder in her eyes in the I'm serious, Bob. That is Gina Boyd. She's Russian. From Kremlin West High School. She took fifth place in a tournament in Moscow. She's what we would call an orthodox arm wrestler. Cool, 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 cool. What does that mean? Sounds like she's got a lot of experience in this sport, huh? She's gonna uh. plow you. <laughs> I don't care how experienced she is. She's going down hard! Nothing's gonna keep me from getting that bread! 
Who says money can't buy motivation? Not this girl. Mm -mm. From the Silverman Gym, Kimi Kukuricho Branch, Kimi Ki Sakura! And from the Silverman Gym, Moscow Branch, Gina Boyd! I remember Mr. Machio saying Russia's a superpower in the arm wrestling world. This won't be easy, and hopefully not too humiliating. You're not going to win. I need this money, and I'm not leaving here without it. Come on, what could possibly be that important? Traveling here from Russia is not cheap. I've racked up quite the bill already. It's more expensive here than I thought. That's it? Girl, we're talking surround sound here. Are you ready? This is the final round. Women's Championship starts now! <laughs> Gina Boyd is 17 years old, and currently searching for love. So what's the secret behind her winning strength? We got up with her at the local cafe and asked her this very question. I am so glad you asked. Arm wrestling is basically made up of two moves, the hook and the top roll. Of course, there are several other moves you can use, but they all have elements of these two. I guess I should explain how each one works. Let's start with the hook. Hook your arm around your opponent, and then lean into your grip from above. This technique is used by those who like to win with brute force and minimum strategy. Uh, well, this took a turn, didn't it? <laughs> Alright. I love how beautiful it is all year round. Was that a trick question? Almost forgot what I was saying. Second move is the top roll. You use your whole body to pull, then bend their wrist down by yanking the thumb away from their hand. Imagine their arm is supported by a triangle. It's formed with their shoulder, elbow, and forearm. If you break that triangle, it throws them off balance and makes it difficult for them to fight back. You basically force them into a weak position so you can crush them. And you gotta be quick about it. The top roll is also my signature move. The most common mistake is assuming that one can win an arm wrestling match with arms alone. Sorry, what? You want to know my favorite Japanese food? A uh, takoyaki? Anyway, a successful arm wrestler has more than just arm strength. They're also required to have excellent technique. What is up with this interview? Is she trying to put us all to sleep? You don't have to rush explain everything. You can apply these techniques to arm sumo as well. Try them next time you're training, but always remember to use safety precautions. And so she continues on her journey to find a worthy opponent. Good luck, Gina. <laughs> She seems to be around my age. If so, she won't be nearly as experienced as I am. They should just hand me the money and save some time. You look like you're ready to begin. Why is the referee standing here in his underthong? Must be a weird Japanese thing. All right, ladies. Ready? <laughs> Go! Ha! I can't move! I'm completely frozen! Strength. It's like the Siberian tundra. We have a winner! Congrats! Hibiki Sakura is our champion. Yeah! <laughs> I've been defeated. Congratulations, indeed. Well played, Hibiki. Hey, Heebs, I'm gonna suggest you buy some new clothes with that prize money first. What? Why? No! How'd my shirt get torn? And why didn't you jerks tell me anything sooner? What's going on with her? Is she part superhuman? Hibiki was becoming more like Machio than she ever knew was possible. <sighs> I'm finally not sore. Is the world about to end? I'm still processing that you're a wrestling champ. She freaking steamrolled that moose. It wasn't that easy, and I think she may be holding a grudge. Before she left, she said, I'm sure we'll battle again sooner than you think. Which sounds like the bad guys in sports manga. So you're like official rivals now. Weird. I really wish I could have met her. You could always take a trip to Russia, I guess. But I wouldn't if I were you. They think vodka is water. Huh? Privyetic! Good to see you again! <gasps> By the way, I decided I should study abroad at your school! I won't lose a second time. Wait, 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 wait. You moved here to get me back? Couldn't you just prank call me? Oh, it must be so fun, fun to have a rival. Thing. Not sure this I counts as a rival. I'm getting mad stalker vibes. Whether they liked it or not, Gina Boyd became the new member of the strength training crew. Good morning, everyone. May I have your attention? We have a new transfer student in class today. 
Introduce yourself to your new classmates, my dear. Hello and greetings, Japanese student friends. I just transferred here from Russia. My name's Gina Boyd. I'll be honest with you. I'm here for Hibiki Sakura! I challenge you to an arm wrestling rematch right here, right now! Oh my, you're a lively one, aren't you? Excuse me, Hibiki's in class B. She's actually next door. Oh, Bliad! How dare you! What were you doing in the other class? You're plotting against me, aren't you, Hibiki? Look who's talking plotting, Russia. What the hell? It's like you flipped a switch and became a different person. D of course I did! I can create any persona I want! Haven't you noticed that Russian characters in the media often fall into three different categories? <laughs> I've been working very hard to maintain our beloved national stereotypes. That girl's broken inside. Just as the motto of our country, coined by the great comrade Putin, says, Always do your best no matter what! That's not an original saying! And why disrespect bears with this screenshot? Um, Gina? Did you used to work out at the Silverman Gym in Moscow when you lived in Russia? Da. What was your training routine typically like out there? Are you asking about weight training? We never did any of that stuff. <laughs> I promise you'll be alright. How could really? you? And why not? How and why would you not do any weight training at Silverman Gym? That's a waste of a fantastic facility! Just what is wrong with her? I'll tell you what I did at the gym, but you have to stop shaking me now! They offered a lot of classes there, and I would take Sambo. Sambo? So you're into martial arts too? I immediately feel so much closer to you. Then what's with the arm wrestling? Are you judging me? My Sambo buddies and I just started doing it for fun. And until I met you, I'd never lost the battle to anyone close to my oh. age. So what do you think we should do about that Hibiki? I would say let it go and move on. <laughs> She's really committing to this whole revenge thing. I'm so confused. How can you study martial arts but then not do any strength training? All you do is cardio? Well, no, but what's the big deal? I mean, you can still train for strength without using a bunch of equipment. The Moskva branch didn't have much available. We mainly did bodyweight training with push-ups, pull-ups, squats, and deeps. Because of our lack of equipment, we use the keeping method. What's, What's that? that? It's a method that utilizes the strength of your muscles to train them evenly. We use momentum to increase the reps we complete with each exercise. <laughs> That's actually a lot like the way we train for boxing. That sounds cool! Can you teach us? Sure, I think we have enough time before class starts. This high bar is a perfect place for it. <laughs> Hello! I'm Gina Boyd, and today I'm going to help you understand the keeping method. To my right is a chinning stand. We use it for chin-ups and pull-ups. Depending on the exercise, use either an overhand or underhand grip on the bar. As long as you have enough space, this is great for chin-ups and pull-ups. Slowly pull your body to the top, and then lower yourself back down. Now you just did your first chin-up! So what's the difference between doing these exercises with and without momentum? The key word here is coordination. Martial artists can struggle to build their strength with the isolated movements of weight training. Their strength is instead improved by practicing their techniques regularly. This also builds muscle memory to create fluid movements. Keeping exercises are unique in that they require momentum to work properly. Use momentum to raise and lower your body quickly without ever fully extending your arms. Keep the rhythm for sets of 30 to 50. It's important to note that this kind of training will develop your nerves and endurance much faster than your muscle strength. But learning to coordinate your entire body and develop controlled, fluid movements will help you train more efficiently overall. Traditional strength training and exercising with momentum, they each have their benefits. Use both for maximum efficiency! That sounds stupid and tense. Crazy momentum aside, sets of 30 to 50 is intimidating. It's really not that bad, Hibiki. Huh? Like our great leader, Comrade Putin, always says, all you have to do is your very best. Can you please stop talking about that dude? Why didn't I change into my gym clothes if we were gonna do this? <laughs> Show me what you've got, Miss Champion. What is this strange dark strength you use to defeat me? <laughs> What's wrong with uh, me? Why can't I do it? It's okay, Hibiki. I'm not surprised you couldn't do it, you little butterball. <laughs> Who are you calling a butterball? I'm not falling for that, so I get why she wouldn't want to reveal her hand just yet. What Gina didn't get is that she was wrong. So wrong. If you can't do full chin-ups on the bar yet, you can try incline chin-ups like this. 
That's right. Find a good tempo to use with your momentum. <laughs> <sighs> Today was a long one, huh? We usually go to the gym after school. You want to come? Did you switch your membership over yet? Da, but I don't think I can train today. Uh -huh. I need to go home and spend some time with my host family. Sounds good. Guess we'll see you tomorrow then. See Have a good day. Das Vidanya, Hibiki. I'm home. Today was so exhausting. What? Why would we have a guest this late? <laughs> Everything suddenly became uncomfortably clear. <laughs> Welcome home, host sister. I'm glad to be staying with you. I guess we were due for some sort of twist. I don't know how to respond to all that. Hey there, guys! Today, let's try momentum-based training. We've already worked on chin-ups earlier today. Now we're going to work on some jump push-ups that you can do anywhere. It's just a normal push-up with a jump added in. Does this look familiar? You'll use the same form as a normal push-up. If you have an apartment, then choose an appropriate time and place to do these. Watch your shoulders. Your form is very important here. Careful! Always keep your elbows slightly bent when you land. This will relieve a lot of pressure. Don't push yourself too hard. You can start on your knees if you need to. Your goal is 10 reps. Ready? Go! If it's too hard, you can modify on your Two, knees. Find a safe tempo three, and keep that rhythm. Four, five, six. Hara show! Don't give eight, up! Nine, this is ten. the last one! We did it! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Be consistent with this, and I guarantee you'll see more results than you would with regular push-ups. And always remember, kids, true strength comes from within. <laughs> <laughs>